Have you ever wondered what it truly means to worship? A profound query that brings us to an enlightening conversation from the book of John chapter 4 verses 19 to 23. Here we find a Samaritan woman, her heart heavy with the weight of her past, asking a question that echoes throughout time, where should we worship? She was caught in the traditional tug of war, the mountain or Jerusalem. Yet Jesus, with his wisdom and grace, gently steers the conversation away from physical locations towards the essence, the very nature of worship. His words ring clear and true. Woman, believe me, an hour is coming when neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. It was a turning point, a shift in understanding. Worship was no longer about geographical coordinates on a map, but about a spiritual connection that transcended earthly bounds. Jesus goes on to enlighten her, you worship what you do not know, we worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But an hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. Here, Jesus highlights two fundamental elements of true worship, spirit and truth. Spirit here doesn't refer to the Holy Spirit, but to the human spirit. Worship, he explained, must be internal, not external. It should emanate from the deepest recesses of the heart, bubbling over with genuine love and reverence for God. And truth? It's a call for this heartfelt worship to align with what scripture teaches, to be centered on Christ, the embodiment of truth himself. As we ponder these profound words, we begin to understand that true worship is not bound by stone altars or hallowed halls. It's a deeply personal and intimate communion with our creator, fueled by a spirit aflame with love and a heart anchored in truth. True worship then is not about where we are, but about who we are and who we're worshiping. So if worship is a matter of the heart, what does that mean for us today? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on this. If we consider Jesus' teachings, it becomes evident that worship is not confined to a designated place or a specific day of the week. It's not just about singing hymns on Sunday or saying grace before a meal. Worship is a lifestyle, a continuous expression of our love and reverence for God that permeates every aspect of our lives. This concept of worship challenges us to rethink our approach. It's not about the ritualistic ticking of boxes, but about a genuine connection with God. It's about opening our hearts to Him, laying bare our souls with honesty and sincerity. Worship isn't a performance for others to see, it's a conversation between you and God, a testament of your relationship with Him. Yet we often find ourselves falling into a pattern of empty, routine worship. We go through the motions, say the right words, but our hearts remain unengaged. We become like actors on a stage, delivering well-rehearsed lines without any real emotion. This, my friends, is a dangerous path. It turns worship into a hollow echo, devoid of authenticity and meaning. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life, to let distractions seep into our worship. But we must remember that these distractions are fleeting while our relationship with God is eternal. So let's challenge ourselves. Let's take a good hard look at our worship practices. Are they heartfelt? Are they genuine? Or have they become mere routines devoid of emotion and sincerity? Jesus invites us to worship in spirit and truth. To do so, we must break free from the shackles of empty rituals and strive for a deep personal connection with God. Let's make our worship a reflection of our love for God, a testament of our faith in Him. Let's make it a conversation, a dialogue, an expression of our deepest feelings and thoughts. Remember, it's not about where you worship, but how and why. God seeks those who worship in spirit and in truth. Let's strive to make our worship a true reflection of our love for God. Let's make it a testament of our faith in Him. Let's make it a dialogue, an expression of our deepest feelings and thoughts. If you enjoyed this journey through John 4, 19, 23, don't forget to give us a like. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and share it with others. Your support means a lot to us. Remember, true worship is a matter of the heart. Thanks for joining us on this journey of reflection and discovery. And